Y'all, I've never worked a day in my life, so I'm a little, I'm a little scared. Yeah, they do. <laughs> to thank Zillow for sending me these glasses to review. First day on the job. I've been working day and night. Time to spend some money. <laughs> now this is what diabetes is supposed to taste like. Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever y'all are. Um, hey. So I was literally in the middle of getting dressed and I was like, hmm, let me record my day for you guys. This actually might be like a little two-day video, I don't know. But I was like, let me show you guys a day in the life of a college student who's working two jobs. <laughs> you heard that right? You girl got two jobs. <laughs> I won't be telling you guys what I'm doing, like my first job, but let me tell you guys while I get dressed because I do have somewhere that I do need to go. The second job that I got, <laughs> I, um, stupid of me. I went in for like a little interview or whatever. They gave us these little QR codes to scan. So I was like, okay, cool. I scanned the QR code. It was a bunch of job positions that you would probably be interested in. I started just pressing things. I, <laughs> okay, I know. And, um, one of the things that I pressed was sports official. <laughs> Mind you, I don't watch sports like that. I'm not a sports gal. I played basketball in high school, but I was a bench rider. Yeah, let me tell you, I was the baddest bench rider out there. I fulfilled my duties, okay? So yeah, I ended up pressing sports official along with some other things that I actually wanted the job for, but I was like, sports official, okay. I don't think I'm going to get the job for that, but you know, I'm pressing it anyway. Um, <laughs> I got the job. <laughs> I'm going to be roughing soccer games and volleyball games. <laughs> I've never watched soccer or volleyball a day in my life. They gave me a whistle. <laughs> They gave your girl a little whistle. Yeah, my first day on the job, I uh, won't be talking about, is tomorrow. In my sports official job, I will be starting Thursday. Oh, also, I got my hair done. Bill, I try your new hairstyle. You can like flip it. See, you can flip it over here. Do we like? It's like, I don't, I don't know what this is. I just wanted to try something different. Well, update, I had pink eye. <laughs> How did I get pink eye? I don't know. Actually, I think I do know. Honestly, feel like I got it whenever I went to the gym. I went into the doctor's office and he was like, I was the fifth person that had pink eye that day. I'll make sure y'all wash y'all's hands, okay? I think I want to get a wax. I gotta get like my little mustache wax. And I gotta get my underarms. And I do have a test tomorrow for one of my classes. I do need to study a little bit. But yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys along. I'm not gonna make it. Let me put my ways on. I, okay, where am I going? They say I'll make it at 957. We got this. Let's go. Stop the time. One thing about me, I like being on time. I love being on time. I, I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to be there at 10 o'clock. It's 9.43, um, 14 minutes away. I knew, but what did I do anyway? I still scheduled it. I like to be on time to places. It stresses me out, I get anxiety, and I'm stressed out right now. <laughs> so, does this mean stop? It's a red light. But like, Atlanta, they got these crazy old like roads, and I don't know what none of this stuff be mean. It's confusing. Okay, I'm on the highway now. I'll talk to you guys later. I made it. And it's actually 9.54 right now. I did not speed. I promise you guys, I did not speed. I just... What are we, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, she just went over a curve. Child. Anyways. I did speed. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I ain't doing nothing like crazy, you know? Something about me being late, it just does something to me. I told y'all my anxiety be through the roof. I be scared. Why do I be scared? I don't know. We made it. That's all that matters. I will talk to you guys after. I passed my test. I just scheduled my wax appointment at 12. I'm gonna find something to eat once I get back on that side of town. I'm at McDonald's now. Um, do y'all have the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle? Um, yes, but we stopped serving breakfast at 10.30. Oh, I thought y'all had the breakfast all day thing. No, we do not. Okay, um, I'll get a cheese and bacon quarter pounder. Bacon quarter pounder, cheese, anything else? Uh. I'm sorry? No, me and you want more large. Uh, small. So you want small fries? Yes. Or okay, and what's the drink? You can do a medium, medium. I'm sorry? Um, you can do a medium. Medium what? Fries. Okay. A Sprite. First Sunday, please. 11.65? No, she tired of me. I know. I'm tired of myself. Yo. Yeah, how are you? That's the Atlas, right? The Atlas Cross Sport. I like that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I like it. Really? I just started getting into it. I didn't really look into it. Got my goodies. Who's blowing the horn? Who's doing all that? You know what? I'm just gonna sit here and watch these people drive while I eat my 
quarter pounder that I didn't even want that I spent $11.59 on. That girl stressed me out. <laughs> Close me. When I go through a drive thru or anywhere, like when I'm ordering, I like to have what I know I'm gonna get in my head. I got it all planned out. I wanted the doggone bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Cause I thought that they served breakfast all day. Apparently not. I don't know. <coughs> Y'all know what they say about the McDonald's sprites. <coughs> I really wanted that McGriddle. That hurt my feelings. I'm finna go get my wax now. Like, I want to bring my camera in and show you guys, but I don't want them, like, looking at me thinking I'm weird because I'm sitting here recording myself getting whacked. Okay, I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm scared. <laughs> hurt. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I think upper lip and legs hurt the most yes. for me. <laughs> People be underestimating how much legs hurt. He said underarms, I feel like underarms is just too quick. Mm -hmm. But lip, I don't know, man, that's different. Yeah. Y'all, that actually went good. Like, the girl that was waxing me, she was really, really nice. Like, she was really sweet. And we were just chatting it up. So I was just sitting there and I was just holding my camera when she walked in. And she was like, you vlog? I said, yeah. I thought she was going to walk in and be like, uh, what you doing? I'm going to head back to my place now. I do need to do some school work. But before we get into that, I would like to thank Zillo for sending me these glasses to review. This is what it looks like in the box. I got six pairs of glasses and I was able to choose two pairs. And the other four they chose based off of what they thought that I would like. Kind of interested to see what they chose for me. So each of the glasses come in these cute little pouches to help protect them. And they also provide you with these cloths to help with like smudge, dirt, or anything that gets on the glasses. I have six glasses, so they send me six cloths. Okay, so we're going to start off with one of the ones that I chose. Let's take it out. Oh, I like how they have a little paper on it so nothing gets on the lens. So we're going to take it off. These are really, really pretty. And then they also have like a gold detailing on the arms. So I'm going to put these on. Ooh, these are cute. These are really nice. They're black and they have the little gold arms on both sides. I feel like these give like a little Harry Potter vibe. That's what they look like. are really pretty and look at the arms they're like a soft gold color which i think goes with the nude really really well okay i really wanted to go with like a nude color because i just felt like a cute little neutral color would go good with like any outfit they even have like gold detailing on the edges right here so i'm gonna give you guys an up close look with them on okay Okay, now we're going to review the other four that they sent me based off of what they thought I would like. So these are called Isabella, and this is what they look like up close. I love how Zillow pays attention to details and the simple little accents that they have on the glasses. Real subtle gold. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think about these? The shape for me is a little out of my comfort zone. I mean, it's not that bad. Like, I, I would wear these. And I like the clear. Like, it goes with everything along with the neutral glasses and the black glasses. Like, these all go with any kind of outfit. These are so cute. I love these. And look at the little silver sparkles on the sides. Like, you're looking at me in the front and you're like, oh, your glasses are so cute. And I'm gonna be like, thanks. And you gotta pull out to the side and be like, bam. You gotta like, hit them with the little sparkles, you know, as a cute little touch. So we got the gold accents once again right here. The little silver detailing right there on the sides. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you guys this is not what i would typically choose but i do like that they sent these because maybe this will get me out of my comfort zone it's like a cheetah print and it has like blue detailing at the bottom 
they're really thick. Arms are really thick and sturdy too. So this is what they look like. These are a little similar to beneath this. They have the little cheetah print also on the side. Instead of the darker brown color, it's a little lighter brown. The top is a cheetah print, and then the bottom is a different color. This is not clear. It's more of a light brown color. It ties in with the light brown here. These are also thick like the Benitez. I really do like the nude down here. Instead of it being clear, it's like a little nude color to tie in with the top frames on these are bigger than Benitez and instead of it going straight across they droop down and that is it for this review thank you Zilla for sending me these pretty glasses to review and also you guys get a coupon code for me if you check in the description box down below go check their website they have lots of different styles to choose from all different types of colors I'm pretty sure you'll find a pair of glasses that fits you and what you like so make sure to go check that out I love these glasses they're very high quality and like I said I didn't get prescription but you can get prescription if you want to it's a pretty simple process and I want to thank Zilla once again hope you guys enjoyed the review now it's time for me to go study okay so right now i'm about to eat and study before i head to the gym Okay, so this is what I'm going to be wearing to the gym today. I'm going to be wearing this little sports bra. It's from Gymshark. Cute. And you can also change the straps. These leggings are also by Gymshark. That's what they look like. Let me show you guys. The gym fit. This is what we're looking like. I know y'all see these muscles. Okay, so it is the next day. I have two classes to go to. I have a little bit of a gap period, so I'm gonna use that time to study. Also, I start one of my jobs today. Yay! <laughs> Y'all, I've never worked a day in my life, so I'm a little, I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. I feel like I wouldn't be as scared if I worked before. Like, if I had a job before, I wouldn't be as nervous as I am now, but what I'm really, really, really nervous about is my job tomorrow, which is the sports official. Also, let me show you guys. <laughs> they gave me a little whistle. Two to. Believe it or not, it's actually hard to whistle. I'm scared, but you know, we, we're trying to get this money. We're trying to chase this bag. <laughs> Two jobs, girl. Two jobs and you two just made it to campus. I gotta put my AirPods in because I gotta listen to my music so I can act like I'm the main character. Okay, so I just made it home. It is 2.31. I don't have like a scheduled time to come in. It just was like, come in whenever you're done with your classes. I'm done now. Now I have to find something to wear. I was thinking just wearing this shirt right here that I have and just throwing on like some little black flowy pants like this. Okay, so I have on my little flowy pants. So I have these little convert. Um, don't mind that. I, this happened when I was at that party. Yeah, we ain't gonna talk about that. Okay, I don't have any like casual shoes for real. I don't have shoes at all. I have tennis shoes. Let's even go. Oh my goodness. This doesn't look cute. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Okay, so I changed. This is the fit. This is what we're giving right now. Hold on, let me show you guys. Yeah, no, no, yes, yes. 
got this top from TJ Maxx. I'm still gonna put these shoes on though because I don't have any other shoes to wear. I'm gonna do my edges real quick. I got my little necklace and then I'm gonna head out. My little bracelet, make it look cute. You don't have a man to put your bracelet on for you. <laughs> so you gotta do it yourself. Alright. I had to buy a whole new mascara because I had pink eye. The regular mascara that I had was max. It was thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. It was a good two. I still had a lot left. But I gotta throw it away. We'll see how this works. Yeah. It'll do. Oh my gosh, why am I so nervous? First day on the job. Okay, I just made it. So I'm about to go in. Y'all wish me luck. And I'll update you guys when I get off. Oh my gosh. When I get off. Like, what? Girl. Okay, so I'm back. And I'm in my gym clothes right now. It's by Abel. A-Y-B-L. It's so cute. But I did just get off of work. Mm -hmm. Um, it was alright. I, mean, I had to like watch a couple videos and take a little quiz or whatever or whatnot. I was just shadowing somebody and that was pretty much it. But I do have to go in tomorrow or at like 10. Yeah. And um, <laughs> they canceled my shift for my other job because they're doing something in the gym. Whatever. I don't know what they're doing. They canceled it. So I don't have to go in for that tomorrow. I mean it all worked out because I was not ready to be watching no soccer game. No matter how much I sat there and watched all those videos, I still don't get it. I, I don't know what it is. It just... It, I just don't get it. I'm gonna go to the gym. I don't know if I'm gonna record because that's... It's kind of a lot. So it is the second day and I just... <laughs> kind of got off of work already i didn't get to film like the whole process and what i wore this is what i wore by the way second day it was good i went in at 10 and i got off at three so a good little five hour shift it was really chill honestly i just learned a couple things and then i was just shadowing somebody so i mean it was just really simple i think i'm gonna like that job i'm just <laughs> The other job I'm a little so I'm a little worried about. But now I'm about to go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and the, maybe the grocery store. I'm not too sure. Because I need to get some more work clothes because I be struggling in the morning to find something like this. This was a struggle. I thought I had clothes, but honestly, I don't. Y'all, I got all these groceries and I gotta carry them by myself up three flights of stairs. shower and get in my bed right now <sighs> you girl tired okay i know i'm barely giving y'all something right now but like i've been working i've been working day and night <sighs> your girl get a job for the first time and she just act like she's slaving over here like <laughs> i will talk to you guys tomorrow because i'm tired Okay, so it's the next day, and that's my heater in the background. It's cold in here. I don't know. It's always cold. It is 7-Eleven, and I'm going to the gym. I've never gone to the gym this early in the morning. Because I get off of work at 6, and I'm not going to want to go to the gym. I want to just be able to come home and eat and go to bed. This is new to me. <laughs> but, you know, we got to learn how to adapt. So... Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm about to make breakfast. Well, I'm not really making breakfast. I'm making like just some light to eat before I go to the gym to at least have something in my stomach. Honey, I like to have a little. The honey is just. It does it. Just made it to the gym. Now let's go put in this work. This bug was crawling and I thought it was a spider. Don't play like that.
know. I was rushing. It's, it's, it's two fifty one. I'm supposed to be at work at three. I just got dressed. I changed my outfit like three, two, three times. Frank Ocean. I changed my, cha 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 I changed my outfit like two, three times. Like y'all, I'll talk to you guys when I get off. So I just got off of work. It is six forty six. I got off at six, but like I just been sitting here. Actually, no, I was on the phone with my mom. I think I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna treat myself to crumble. And I'm gonna get a milkshake from Chick-fil-A. It's giving diabetes. <laughs> Third day of work was pretty good. I learned how to do something today, so that was good. So you just gonna walk now look both ways. I know passengers got the right away, but first but sometimes they just be walking like they won't get hit. This dude's literally on his phone just steady there walking. Then look both ways. Like, you're playing with your life right now. Time to spend some money. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Hmm. I just love spending five dollars for a cookie. <laughs> See how it tastes. So I got apple cider. I feel like it was fall thing, you know? She cute or whatever. Mmm. 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 Huh. Huh. This is good. This is real good. Now this is what diabetes is supposed to taste like. No, they ate with this. They ate. They ate. Mmm. <sighs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Hi, I'll get a small caramel crumble milkshake. Haley. Thank you, you too. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. Chip play. That was a hard cherry. That ain't sweet, that ain't soft, it's hard and flavorless. It's giving what it was supposed to give. So um sorry y'all, I just a lot. I had to go. I came downstairs because I was about to leave to go to my second job. But I forgot my shoes because I remember they said that we got to wear black shoes. I had no white shoes. So I was like, oh my gosh. And I looked right at the black shoes too. And I was like, um, I think I need you, but I'm, I'm not going to get you. You know? So <coughs> I had to run back, all the way back up three flights of stairs, get my shoes, change my socks because I had no white socks because I was wearing white shoes. But I had to change into the black socks because I was wearing black shoes. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to look tacky, you know? So I did all that. Then I came back downstairs. I'm out of breath. I'm tired because I'm low-key running a little bit late because I like to be on time, you know? Today's my first day as a sports official, so <laughs> I'm going to be a scorekeeper this time so I can just, you know, take the time to actually watch and know, like, all the signals and whistles and all that good stuff, like how to actually ref. I can just sit there and pay attention. Um, hopefully, I don't mess up the scoring because me, I just, I, I don't know, I overthink things and I just feel like I'm going to overthink the scoring when all you got to do is just flip the freaking numbers. I don't know. And then on top of that, my attention span is like terrible so i i feel like i'm gonna be watching the game i'm gonna forget that i'm actually you know keeping score so yeah um <laughs> so i will talk to you guys when i get out i don't know hopefully i'm just overthinking things and it's gonna be like real smooth and chill and yeah i will talk to you guys when i get off so i just got off of work and it is currently 6 25 and i'm about to go to my second job and today i'm refing volleyball so they said that's the easiest one to ref because it's not as complicated so hopefully that goes good i feel like it'll go good because soccer wasn't bad and they say that volleyball is the easiest so i feel like it's it'll be chill now that i got soccer out the way i'm not really stressed anymore i get off at like 10 so I will talk to you guys after I get off. Cadence. Cadence.